Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to another online class. Um, thank you to everyone who has sent in all their homework. Um, I will go through it and correct it for you. Um, today we are going to review what we have done so far in the book on Unit 1 about the how to ask and answer where did you go last weekend and what did you do last weekend so um so it's a review just to recap what we have already learned this will be for the next two lessons um so where did you go last week and remember last weekend means last saturday and last sunday in the past and remember you must change the verb from go to went and remember um a for consonants words with consonants and an for a word with a vowel so you can see here uh where did you go last weekend i went to a school I went to a hospital, I went to a post office, I went to a fire station, I went to a supermarket, I went to a gas station, I went to a bank, I went to a library, I went to a home, or I stayed at home. I went to a police station, I went to a pet shop, I went to a restaurant, I went to a cinema, I went to a laundromat. Um, a laundromat is a place where you wash your clothes. So this is a laundromat, a place where you wash your clothes. So you can take, you wash your clothes. Um, then we have, I went to a church, this church is like a temple, and I went to a garage. So the school is the school where you go to study, the hospital is where you go when you are sick, the post office is where you have your post, your letters and mail, fire station, the people who come to, to put out a fire in your house, the supermarket, where you go do your shopping, Big C, Tesco, uh, look this um, gas station where you put your car fill up your car so you can drive the car make sure the car is full with gas so it does not stop in the road bank where you put your money the library where you go to um, read books or borrow books your house where you live the police station if something bad happens to you you go to the police they will investigate the pet shop where you have loads of pets like cats and dogs the restaurant where you eat food and um, the cinema where you go to watch a movie uh, I already told you the laundromat I already said about the church and the garage is where if your car is broke you will go to fix your car so where did you go last weekend these are some of the places in the community what did we do we did where did you go last weekend if you remember can you remember in the picture, where are they? They are at the aquarium. So where did you go last weekend? I remember go changes to went. So I went to an aquarium. Where did you go last weekend? I went to an aquarium. So you know to know, remember the aquarium. You can see the picture uh, again, all about the fish. You go to the aquarium. Where did you go last weekend? Can you remember this one? Can you answer? What is the answer? Can you remember the answer? What would the answer be? I went to an art gallery. Good, good job. So this is the art gallery. So I went to the art gallery where you see loads and loads of famous paintings and statues. So you can answer this one. Where did you go last weekend? Again, same formula as before. I went to... Uh, so what is this picture? 
a concert hall. So that's a concert hall. Um, where you listen to the classical music. Where did you go last weekend? This one. I went to a national park. So if you go to Kauai, you are going to the national park. So this is the national park. Where did you go last weekend? This has got to do with science. So I went to a science museum. Very good. So that's a science museum. I went to a science museum. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a soccer stadium. Good. Uh, very good there. Yes, this is a soccer stadium. So I went to a soccer stadium. This one. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a ski resort so this is the ski resort so remember ski needs to be in the snow in the very cold and you must remember that you cannot go skiing in Thailand because it is too hot so I need to go skiing in places like Japan and Russia South Korea America Canada Switzerland or wherever it, there is snow so that's um, where did you go last weekend? So quickly again, where did you go last weekend? I went to an aquarium. Where did you go last weekend? I went to an art gallery. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a concert hall. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a national park. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a science museum. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a soccer stadium. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a ski resort. So those are the eight places that you need to know from unit one. And you need to remember what the pictures look like. So you can, uh, I think you should know by now because you've been doing this for nearly two weeks. But just to review, so we're gonna review and then we did what did you do yesterday or what did you do last weekend or what did you do last night remember it's the past tense remember changing verb form to verb so you have simple past you've got the regular verbs you add ed to the regular verbs and the irregular verbs you change the spelling so like the regular verb like play would be played um, a regular verb C would change to saw so you need to know the difference between a regular verb and an irregular verb so you saw what did you do last weekend so I saw famous paintings what did you do I saw famous paintings at the art gallery what did you do last weekend? Can you remember the verb? What's this? I listened. Good. I listened to classical music. Okay, so I listened to classical music. Okay, swimming. What did you do last weekend? Can you remember the verb for swimming? I took a swimming class so the verb is take and the past tense is took so i took a swimming class what did you do last weekend we are at the soccer stadiums so what is the verb for the soccer stadium i watched so like watching tv i watched a soccer game so I watched a soccer game. Okay, at the National Park, what did you do at the National Park? What did you do last weekend? I 
did volunteer work. And remember, volunteer work is where you do work for free and you do not get any money. So people will go and in their own free time and they will pick up the trash or they will clean for free with no money. So what did you do last weekend? I did volunteer work. Um, I did volunteer work. What did you do last weekend? At the ski resort, what do you do? I went skiing. So I went skiing. Verb is go and you changed to went. So I went because it's in the past tense. So we will recap again. Where did you go last weekend? I went to an art gallery. What did you do at the art gallery? I saw famous paintings. What did you do last weekend? I listened to classical music. Where? At the concert hall. What did you do last weekend? I took swimming classes. Where? At the swimming pool. What did you do last weekend? I watched a soccer game. Where? At the soccer stadium. What did you do last weekend? I did volunteer work. Where? At the national park. What did you do last weekend? I went skiing. Where? At the ski resort. So if you go to your student book, you will see um, page on page 12. So we're going to review. Can you see the pictures? You see picture one and you have picture two and you have picture three and you have picture four and you have picture five and you have picture six. You can see the words. You have swimming pool, concert hall, aquarium, went skiing, watched a soccer game and did volunteer work. And you can notice that these are in the simple past tense, went, watched and did. So what is picture one? You have six words to fill in in number one. So is one a swimming pool? Yes or no? Uh, I don't think so. It's not a swimming pool. Can you remember what it is? It is an aquarium. So you can write the word aquarium. A-Q-U-A-R-I-U-M. So you can write the word aquarium. What is picture number two? What are they doing? Remember, what do you do at the National Park? I did. So it is did. Did volunteer work. So you can fill in did volunteer work. So you can also fill in number three. What is number four? Number five and number six. And as I said, the six words are here. So make sure you read carefully and you write the correct spelling as it is written here. Um, so that is A. And for section B, so if you go down B, we have one and two. So we've got Rosa and we've got Kevin. So we have A. B, C, and D. So listen and put the correct letter for Rosa and Kevin. So I will ask a question, look at the picture, and write the correct letter for Rosa and Kevin. So where did Rosa go last weekend? She went to a national park so is a b c or d the national park so you have four pictures put the correct letter in for rosa a b c or d and then kevin what did kevin do last weekend kevin saw famous paintings Kevin saw famous paintings. So again, Kevin, is it A, B, C, or D for Kevin? So you can write the letters in the box. That is page 12. Then when you are finished, 
your workbook, student book, you can go to your stickers. So at the back of the book, you have stickers. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You must pick three stickers out of the eight and stick them in the page 13. So you have three stickers at the back of the book. Stick the stickers. So I will pick the aquarium. I will pick the ski resort. I will pick the concert hall. Everybody will be different. Up to you. What is your favorite three pictures? And then when you are finished, where did you go last weekend? So what picture did you pick? So I picked a concert hall. I picked a ski resort and I picked a soccer stadium. So you write the name of the place you picked for your stickers. And what did you do? So where did you go last weekend? I went to the concert hall. What did you do with the concert hall? I listened to classical music. So the place and the activity must match. So one, place and activity, two, place and activity, and three, place and activity. Example here. Where did you go last weekend? I went to a concert hall. What did you do there? I listened to classical music. So you would write concert hall and listened to classical music. So as I said, pick three, three stickers, one, two, and three, and fill in the table. When you're finished, that is the class over. Uh, thank you for listening today. I hope you had a good time listening and reviewing. Um, I hopefully will see you soon. Um, for a, so um, take care and I'll see you again for the next class.